was born in December 28th of 1998 in Iraq. At the time, it wasn't technically at war, but the remnants of war was still there. We could, like if my life was ever a movie, the background with the bullets and bombs. We got used to it and we didn't, we didn't feel unsafe or afraid because we didn't know what normal was. That was our normal to hear a bullet or an explosion or in the middle of class. It was, it was completely normal. When we went one time and we were dismissed, uh, we could go both ways, either the left or the right. And when our principal came out and he said to anybody that's going to the left, you should head back to school and anybody who's going to the right should run as fast as possible or get into any homes that are willing to open the doors. I was one of the people that are on the left side, so we returned to school and we were told to hide within the lower classrooms, which was usually first to third grade. They bombed the back wall of the school into dust. We, they bombed the playground, we had nothing left. I lost my best friend to the bombing and we never really knew what happened because we never saw her after she left school that day. I cry sometimes, but not for myself, but for the kids that are still there. If I ever think of that, I think of the place I am at right now, where millions of people could be sitting, but I am here instead. And so every time I think about it, I get more motivated because if I don't use this opportunity to the fullest, then I have failed myself as well as them. I didn't speak any English at the time, so I wasn't really great with communicating with other people. And then I got into reading, and I just read and read nonstop, and reading kind of became a great passion of mine, as well as like writing and rhyme, and I kind of grew from there. She's very academically driven. She wants to make straight A's. She stays up till two and three o'clock in the morning, and then gets up at four or five o'clock in the morning and comes to school. So. It takes a strong person to do high school and college, and I do definitely feel like you absolutely made the right choice. I can always ask her for advice in anything in my life, and she's always there to answer it. You don't see any of that tragedy or any of the things that she encountered um, in her past. That is another way that she inspires me, is that you cannot let your past define your present and your future. And I do know that she's going to come into somebody's life and she is going to affect their life for the good. They're going to look at her and say, that is what I want to be. That is what I want to mimic. Uh, I plan to be an OBGYN um, in the future because I've learned that value of life. It can so easily be taken away. I want to be part of what brings it here, even if it's like a small speck. I just want to be part of it. My name is Shahada Fartusi and I have beat the odds.